Have you ever gazed upon the night sky and wondered if we are truly alone in this vast cosmos? Picture this, an infinite expanse of space stretching out in every direction. A universe so massive it's nearly impossible to wrap your mind around. It's filled with billions upon billions of galaxies, each one a magnificent constellation of stars and planets. And those galaxies are but specks in the grand scheme of the cosmos. It's enough to make one feel incredibly small, isn't it? Yet it's also enough to fill one with wonder and curiosity. Now consider the stars. Each galaxy houses billions of these radiant celestial bodies. Around these stars, planets orbit, much like our Earth circles the Sun. The sheer number of planets is staggering, beyond what any human mind can comprehend. But let's take a moment to ponder the possibility of life. Life as we know it requires a certain set of conditions to thrive. It needs water, warmth, and a suitable atmosphere, among other things. But with billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars and even more planets, the odds seem to be in favour of life existing somewhere else out there. Of course, we don't have definitive proof yet. Our technology, as advanced as it is, still has limitations. We can't see every planet, we can't explore every corner of the cosmos, but we can speculate, we can calculate probabilities, and we can continue to search. Our Earth, this beautiful blue marble, is a haven for life. It's teeming with creatures of all shapes and sizes, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale. It's a world filled with diversity, with complexity, with beauty. But in the grand scheme of the universe, Earth is but a tiny speck. With such a vast playground, it seems improbable that life only exists on our tiny blue marble. There's an entire universe out there waiting to be explored, waiting to reveal its secrets. And who knows, perhaps one day we'll discover that we are indeed not alone. To ponder the probability of life beyond Earth, we turn to the Drake Equation. The Drake Equation, named after the astrophysicist Frank Drake, is an ingenious formula that attempts to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Introduced in the early 1960s, it has become a beacon of astrophysics and the quest for extraterrestrial intelligence. The equation is composed of seven variables that, when multiplied together, give us an estimate of the number of civilizations we could potentially communicate with. Now, let's take a brief look at these components. Firstly, we have the rate of star formation in our galaxy. Then comes the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. Next, we consider the number of planets per solar system that could potentially support life. Fourthly, we ponder the fraction of such planets where life actually develops. Among those life-bearing planets, we then consider the fraction where intelligent life emerges. The sixth variable is the fraction of planets with intelligent life that develop technologies that release detectable signs of their existence into space. Finally, we consider the length of time for which such civilizations release detectable signals. Now, as you might imagine, the values of these variables are fraught with uncertainty. But recent discoveries have enabled us to refine some of them. For example, the Kepler Space Telescope has provided us with a better understanding of the fraction of stars that have planets. Even with such refinements, the Drake Equation still paints a picture of immense possibility. It's a kind of cosmic lottery where the odds are uncertain, but the potential payoff is staggering. The beauty of the Drake Equation is not in the precise answer it gives, for that remains elusive. Instead, it's in the way it organizes our ignorance, helps us understand what we need to know, and inspires us to keep searching. So, according to the Drake Equation, we may not be alone after all. The discovery of exoplanets has added fuel to the fire of our cosmic curiosity. As we peer into the depths of the cosmos, the thirst for knowledge about these distant worlds grows ever stronger. Exoplanets, for those unfamiliar, are planets outside our solar system, orbiting around other stars. The first confirmed detection came in the early 90s, and since then we've identified over 4,000 of these celestial bodies, each one a new world waiting to be explored. Now, not all exoplanets are created equal when it comes to the potential for life. The conditions need to be just right. We're talking about planets in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. It's a delicate balance, but one that's crucial for life, as we know it to thrive. Among the many exoplanets discovered, a few have sparked particular interest in the scientific community. 
Take Kepler-186f, for example, the first validated Earth-sized planet to orbit a distant star in the habitable zone. It's about 500 light-years away in the constellation Cygnus. Now, we can't pack our bags just yet, as we don't know much about its atmosphere or whether water exists there, but it's an exciting prospect nonetheless. Then, there's Proxima Centauri b, our closest known exoplanet, a mere 4.2 light-years away. Orbiting the nearest star to our Sun, it's in the habitable zone and could potentially host liquid water on its surface, assuming it has an atmosphere similar to Earth's. Again, there's much we don't know, but the potential is there. With every new discovery, we inch closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? These exoplanets, with their potential to host life, offer tantalizing clues. And as our technology advances, our ability to probe these distant worlds will only increase. Who knows? One of these distant exoplanets may be teeming with life as we speak. While we have yet to find direct evidence of extraterrestrial life, we've found some intriguing signs. Our quest to understand the universe has led us to some fascinating discoveries, particularly in our own solar system. Mars, the fourth planet from our Sun, has been a focal point of our search. Scientists have detected organic molecules on Mars, the raw materials for life as we know it. These molecules, while not evidence of life itself, indicate that the building blocks for life once existed on the Red Planet. But Mars is not the only celestial body in our solar system that holds promise. Let's take a look at the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Beneath the frozen surfaces of these moons, vast oceans of liquid water exist. On Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus, complex organic molecules have been detected. These molecules, much like those found on Mars, could potentially provide the necessary ingredients for life. And let's not forget about Venus, our nearest planetary neighbour. Recently, scientists made a stunning discovery in Venus's thick, acidic atmosphere. They detected phosphine gas, a compound typically produced by living organisms on Earth. This discovery doesn't confirm life on Venus, but it does open up a whole new realm of possibilities. It's important to clarify that these discoveries don't prove the existence of extraterrestrial life. However, they do show us that the conditions necessary for life to emerge exist in places other than Earth. These conditions include the presence of water, organic molecules, and in the case of Venus, even a potential biosignature gas. It's a thrilling thought, isn't it? The idea that life in some form could exist elsewhere in our solar system. It's a reminder of how much there is left to explore and how little we truly know about the universe. These discoveries hint that the building blocks of life might not be exclusive to Earth. Life as we know it, or as we don't know it, could be waiting in the shadows of our solar system, patiently waiting for us to uncover its secrets. The search for life beyond Earth is far from over. As we peer into the vast expanse of the cosmos, we remain ever hopeful, ever curious and ever vigilant in our quest for companionship in the universe. Our endeavours are ceaseless and our exploration relentless. The future holds a plethora of exciting missions that aim to unearth the secrets of the universe. One such mission is Mars 2020, a rover mission by NASA, with the primary objective to seek signs of habitable conditions on Mars in the ancient past. But the mission doesn't stop there. It will also search for signs of past microbial life, thus taking the next step in the quest to unravel the cosmic conundrum of life beyond Earth. Then, we have the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology, set to launch in the near future. This powerful observatory will gaze into the cosmos with unprecedented clarity, peering back over 13 and a half billion years to see the first galaxies born after the Big Bang. It promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. We mustn't overlook the role of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI. Their commitment to the exploration of life in the universe is unwavering. With their state-of-the-art equipment and a team of dedicated scientists, they listen for signals from intelligent civilizations far beyond our own solar system. The silence thus far is not a deterrent, but a motivation to continue the search. Our journey in the cosmic ocean is just beginning, and with every mission, every discovery, we inch closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? 
The search for life continues a testament to our indomitable spirit of exploration and thirst for knowledge. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what we might find? Until then, keep looking up.